Hey Magic Me on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. Once again I'm just going to be recording some games with Luris. And this is a Luris mirror, that's awesome! Alright, so here we go. Mull? So this is a no land hand. Even with the bobble, especially... No, that's super duper greedy. Uh, so we're going to take a mull and see what we get. Alright, well... Aha, okay. So, one, two lands, Noble Hierarch, Plague Stinger, uh, Double Plague Stinger. I don't know what the matchup is, so I'm not sure. I, I know I need to keep the Nile Spellbomb because I see Lurus, so I think I can take a bit of a risk and put the other Plague Stinger down. I'll have another creature regardless. Alright, so we're going to do that. We're going to keep and put you on the bottom. Him. There we go. And here goes nothing. So I can also get a turn to Luris just for the lulls, I guess. So that that's what we'll do. I'll get oh hello. Hello. Little little too high. I'll get Noble Hierarch out. Ooh, and you know what? Probably should have done this. Probably, just maybe should have done this. Um you know what? We can actually save the bobble. Oh, it's fine. We'll, we'll do it here. Uh, target my opponent? Ooh, hello. Alright. So, how do I do this bit? I've actually never done this before. Look at top one card. Alright, so let's see. It is... Da 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 da! Ooh, Metallic Mimic! That's uh that's an unusual card. Let's go. <laughs> Whenever it decides it's ready. Make sure this is recording. Okay, okay. Nice. <laughs> All right. So that goes to the yard. I said, there we go. Pass turn and then draw. <laughs> I'll draw from uh bobble. Ooh, okay. They're going to take a look at their... Uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm going to check before they fetch, I would imagine. So, Metallic Mimic, it's a tribal deck of some sort. I just don't know what it is. Okay, so they have... We, we have some similar colors going on. Uh, huh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <gasps> Hardened Scales! Cool. Hey, there we go. Alright, so we will draw. Let them, uh... Eh, they've already taken it. They've already drawn. Cool, okay. So... Hmm... If it's hardened scales, I don't actually have the kill. So I'm tempted to go for Luris and just do some exalted shenanigans. And that's exactly what I'll do, actually. So, we'll crack this. Hello? There we go. We will go and get an Overgrown Tomb. So we're going to take an extra two. Good times, as you do. There we go. Overgrown Tomb. You want to know why Mishra's Bobble is a 50-some-odd dollar uncommon right now? Oh, need to get that. Please, go. Aha, there we go. I guess you could say it's only one good piece, though, because I don't think Lurus will be around for long. Yeah, I'm inclined to think you're right. I am indeed. You're right. Alright, so let's get this back out of the yard. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I will wait, I believe. Um, do I wait? Yes. Uh, hmm, yeah, I'll, I'll wait. It's fine. Uh, so the way that this is worded is, uh, draw a card at the beginning of the next player's upkeep. Alright, and then on my next turn, I'll play Noble Hierarch, Swing for five in all likelihood. Uh, well, it depends on what I draw. Alright, so there's a land. 
crack it. There we go. Oh boy. All right. So uh, once again, it is hot in here, so the the button comes undone. <laughs> That's how this works. That's how this works in the the T1. Uh, oh jeez. <laughs> uh, sauna. Actually, no. Keep one of them buttoned. There we go. All right. Metallic Mimic? Hey, I already know about it. Might as well. Uh, no response. Uh, construct. End of turn. Beep! Alright. You. Alright. So we will take a look. How do I do this? Hey, there we go. There we go. Alright, should be coming up any moment now. Ooh, hi Ink Moth. Oh, hi. Oh, that's fun. That's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Alright. So, I'll go to my turn. Draw. And then draw. Alright, do we... We have a bobble again. Okay. Well, um... I guess we'll just make a... I guess we'll just make a big ol' Luris, won't we? Should I? I should leave that untapped, shouldn't I? Wait a minute. So use Noble to play Noble, I guess? Also have an extra land I can use. Playing it early is a bit awkward because I do have Groundswell as a 4 of, so I, I do need to watch that. Hmm, okay. I, I can slow roll it a little bit. So we'll go... Hello? Yeah, this is this is kind of awkward. I'm clicking and it's... it's. <laughs> Alright, going off to the side for them. Alright. So... We will go to combat. Swing five. Alright, um... Yeah, good times. And then I gain five. Doot, 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 doot. Whenever it feels like it. I think it just read. Oh, there we go. Yeah, my computer is slow, folks. Sorry about that. It's a little bit slow. You may have noticed. Just maybe. I don't think I need to keep the Pendlehaven up. I'm going to use Plague Stinger here. All right. Pass the turn. Yeah, good old infect. Doing infecty things. So they get to draw Ink Moth. That's always fun. Unfortunately, infect is uh, entirely great against itself. <laughs> uh, pump spells do not matter in that sense. Oh, but they're going to tap it. Ooh, they're tapping it. Ooh, uh oh. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Yep, so we do have one dismember in the main board. Uh, that'll be fun. Uh, so the way that Hardened Scales is worded, if one or more would be placed on a creature you control, put that many plus one plus one plus one counters on it instead. Uh, so the way that that's worded, this gets to come in with two, which means it can ping an infect creature and still survive. It can also just kill Luris here. We can sort of force the issue a little bit if they try to do it preemptively. I'm sorry, enters with four count. Oh, it is a construct. Telic mimics the chosen. Enters with reading. All right. 
Okay, yeah, I think what they're saying is, it comes in with one on its own, hardened scales, it gets another one. Metallic Mimic gives it one, hardened scales, it gets another one. In other words, hardened scales is being affected twice. Or is affecting it twice. Um, just a moment to make sure I can wrap my mind around this. Because I, I, I'm going to trust them, I believe, unless it seems really obvious otherwise. So, let me, let me stop talking for a sec. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it's not really a trigger, is it? No, it's not technically a trigger. Uh... I'm gonna say that that's okay. I, I think that that's right. Okay. We'll, we'll move that over. If not, someone let me in, someone in the comments let me know. Let me see. Response. Take one. Alright, if you want to kill this thing, you better be sure. Oh. Second. It doesn't have death touch, so it doesn't matter. In response to Mindable Crosa, fire off the other one. Okay, good, okay. Good, good, good. That's out of the way. So we got rid of that. It's it used up a bunch of cards, but that's okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it happen. What's this? Oh dear. I can't see what it is. Arcbound worker. Interesting. It'll let me. EOT. There we go. Alright. Let's do this again. Look at the top one card. And I guess I should move this into the graveyard as soon as it lets me. But man, my computer is slow. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so there's a, a worker. That's fine. Arcbound worker again. Numero dos. And it's a construct. Holy crap. That is a one mana 4-4, four, four, folks. It, if we're doing... Wait a minute. One from itself, then one. One from itself. Okay. Alright. So then, I'll draw a couple. Hello? Alright, there we go. Hi, Glistener Elf. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. How's the family? Move you over here. So we do have Pendlehaven to help a little bit. We need we need some more. This is gonna be fun, folks. This is going to be fun. A lot of fun. <sighs> okay, so we're in a bit of trouble. Glisteralf doesn't have evasion, but they are about to get a Luris in play in all likelihood. Well, they do have no. They have another worker, so they'll play another worker. Better a one mana four four. Why are they doing it this way? No, it's ancient stirrings. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense, and they still get to keep up Ink Moth, uh, which Ink Moth is fun. Forgot to attack. Oh, oh, I didn't even. I wasn't even paying attention. Sorry. I was so engrossed in what I was doing. I was not paying attention. Ah, Alright, no problem. Yeah, good times. No, this, this is a good, this is a good deck. 
I like what Hardened Scale is doing. It's not my cup of tea exactly, but I like what they're up to. Hmm, okay. So, I hope they didn't find Walking Ballista, because I, I missed it. Play to discard. Wait a minute, what did they get? Hello? From deck to play. Oh, so they got Nurturing Peatland. It's not letting me scroll up. There it goes. Alright. Oh, God. Alright. Hmm. Okay. That is a lot that's going on. And it's actually not a be uh, construct, it's a beast. So that is important. <laughs> not that it matters too, too much. So I think I'll just take four here. I can try to kill it, but, you know, Ravager. Um... Hmm, I'm thinking. Hmm. Oh boy. I, I, I kind of want the extra information. Let's see, we'll target them. Oh, it doesn't... Yeah, there we go. So, the way that Nile Spellbomb here works is that it's going to exile all the cards from their grave, and when it's put into your graveyard from the battlefield, if I paid black, which I just did, I'll get to draw a card. This will give me a little bit more information. See what I'm working with. Do-do-do-do. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, I would be trading a pump spell for... They would, they would get two plus one plus one counters. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, not having Plague Stinger here does kind of stink. I did put the other one on the bottom, though, so that's my fault. Okay, other things I can do. Not a whole lot, to be honest. I can sec this to draw another card, but it won't really change what I do here. Um, I would have to actually give up Become Immense to save my... Or I could get, do Pendlehaven plus Groundswell. That would actually save... That would get rid of their creature at the cost of putting it into the Ravager. This is tough. This is tough, folks. No blocks. All right, taking four here. And by the way, they can't attack with the Mimic because I can just block and use Pendlehaven. All right, cool, so that should be four. Yep, it's four. And it's important for them to clarify because they have a Ravager. So, you know, as you do. Beep. Uh, we'll do this bit again. Alright, all the card draw in existence. Ah, oh, it's just a land. That's fine. Burning Catacombs is fine. We can live with that. I could actually sack this here. I could. I will. I just did. Alright, cycle. All right, cool. One, two, wow. Okay. Good times. That turns on Groundswell. All right. Let's go. All right. So there's that. There's that. They have to block, of course, as you do. You no matter what, they have to block. Swing four. If they don't, they're dead, and they know it. 
is what happens when you don't leave Ink Moth Nexus up. Oh boy. So I, I assume they're going to throw the Mimic under the bus here. With one card in hand, I don't imagine Mimic doing as much going forward. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. And it's a 2-1, right? Against my 4-5. Hmm. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Omaya wa moshindeiru. Alright. That shit, it'll sack both into the Ravager. Um, Ravager gets to be a 6-6. Six, six. That'll be fun. And if they attack, I can put Become Immense in and on a on a noble hierarch and force them to sack the worker as well. You know, they also have uh, Ink Moth Nexus. We're getting that's getting scary. In response. Yeah, you you better sack those in. You have Ink Moth. Please. Do it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Doing it twice, I would imagine. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. When it's put into a graveyard, you may put its plus one, plus one counters on another artifact creature. Oh, God. We're dead next turn. I see where this is going. We're dead next turn. Okay. Oh no, wait a minute, they could just super seriously misplay this. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Ravager gets two counters. Are they sacking Ravager? Okay, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me... On target, it doesn't have to go into the Ravager, it can go into something else. Okay, we're good there. It's a 9-9 nine nine now? So, this is a 4-5. It's about to be an 8-9. How many do I have in the yard? I have 8. Oh, they're going to deprive me of a lot of my resources. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty at all. But I could do a number on their board. Could do an awful large number on their board here. Um. Yeah. I hate to say, but I am going to do it. Because even if I... Uh, I'm only going to have nine if I let the become immense. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, can't get you back anyway, four, oh jeez, not what I meant to do, and one more, one more, five, all right, there we go, we got there, we got there folks. Okay, now how are they going to do it? In response, this is quite the stack. Look at this. Look at this, folks. All right, shaking it. Ravid Ravager into worker, I assume, is what's going on here. At some point, please cut your losses. You have an Ink Moth Nexus up. If I have another pump spell, this is all going to go to to waste. Of course, then again, we're both going to be stuck on one card in hand. We're both going to be heck bent, but I'll have the better board, kind of. You'll have Ink Moth still. Become Immense Resolves. Good. Okay. Okay. So, that is a that is a 10-11. Or wait, thinking. Alright. Take it back. Take it back. Hello? Go, go back. 
Hello? Oh my goodness. There we go. We got there. Then the modular trigger... What's happening? Yeah. Then the modular trigger resolves. Okay. So I guess I'm putting it back in the yard. Or wait, thinking, yeah, then the modular trigger resolves. Can I let two things resolve, then respond to the ground spell again? Let things resolve, then... Uh, yes, you can interrupt the stack. This isn't Yu-Gi-Oh. It's been a while since I've been in a big stack war like this. So worker is a 9-9. Nine nine. Alright. And GE is a 10-11. Alright. And pray you don't have trample in hand. I'll respond by sacking both to Ravager. Okay. Alright. Good. So sacking that into Ravager should be an 8-8. Eight eight. Okay. Good. Alright. We're getting there. Holy crap. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, because modular again. This is so weird. This is so weird. It gets 9 plus 1 from hardened scale just on that one. Okay. I think I understand what's going on now. Not this time. Instant speed trample would be pretty nice. Alright, modular is a weird mechanic, folks. Just a, just a lot. It's a weird, weird mechanic. Uh, I'm gonna say... Pass. Now, if my opponent puts them on the Ink Moth Nexus, I am dead. If they try to attack with the Ravager, I live. Please animate Ink Moth. Please, for the love of all things good and holy, animate and what are you doing? No, no, stop. You stop this right now. What are you doing? Oh, please. It just, just... Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright. There we go. No blocks. Alright. Swing 18 plus 1 infect. Oh crap! Why did I say no blocks? I'm at 17, lol. There we go, Dryad Arbor. Just do it. <laughs> you got me anyway. Sec Ravager to self. Yep, there we go. Modular move 19 counters. My kingdom for a fatal push. Game two? Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I like that. That was, that was cool. Actually, we don't have to do that. Oh, no, they already did it. Okay, cool. We got there. We could just scoop, just scoop them up. Hey, you got it. I keep the same deck. See what they're working with. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, let's, okay. Cancel. Alright, cool. 
Cool. Okay. Whale, we got there. You sit and shovel, da da da. Play another game. Blah blah blah. Do do do. Do do do. Okay, cool. I don't know that they're going to sideboards or not. Maybe not. I do rather like this. Yeah, I, I like Hardened Scales as a deck. It's, as you just saw there, it's complicated to find the right line. But like Affinity, there's often a right line. Close one. Yeah, that was. That was quite a, that was quite a stack war. For sure. Alright, so here we go. Uh, this looks fine. It has everything we need. It has an Infect Creature. It has Noble Hierarch for ramp. So we can go uh, turn to Ink Moth and have protection for it, because that matters. It matters more if it's Glistener Elf, obviously, uh, or Plague Stinger. And when we have Scale Up, but we don't have the kill. Actually, yes, we do. Uh, we have Noble Hierarch for... Uh, so, Ink Moth 1, Noble Hierarch 2, Blossoming Defense 4, Scale Up 10. We do all that, all of those together, and Pendlehaven. Um, but we need to preemptively use Blossoming Defense to make that work, which we should be able to do, should, in this matchup, but I do have to worry about spot removal. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. I'll say, yep, keep, boop, okay, cool. So, let's go with uh, turn one. We don't, we actually can play the Pendlehaven. It, it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, but still, I guess I should, I should hold back the mana, the lands that do damage. It does also hide whether I can play Luris for a little while. Alright, so this is always fun, and we can once again just go turn to Luris. Uh, but, you know, one of the downsides to doing it the way I just did, yes, is that I don't get to play Luris on the next turn, um, which I probably should have done, actually. I probably should have played the Shockland so that I can go turn to Luris and have Ink Moth as a backup. Yeah, so that was that was probably a mistake. I wasn't as efficient with my mana as I could have been. What is this? Animation module? Huh. Okay. I guess I dig it. Alright, there's Might, so we're in even better shape. Somehow. Yeah, we, we didn't do anything that turn, so I was I was pretty inefficient. Okay. Okay. Whale. At this point though, Luris is just a three mana three two lifelink, which is fine. It's it's not actually getting any use out of the ability though. Uh, but if you have an eighth card in your hand, you might as well play it, so that's that's on me. Plus it can force them to try to throw an abrupt decay or an assassin's trophy or a fatal push out early. Or, heck, a dismember, since they're an Ink Moth deck themselves. You know, as you do. What is this? Ke? Nani? I mean, if you're gonna let the shields be down, I will just do it. What is this, a Ballista? Ballista, though, would be pro a problem. Oh, that's game. That's game. GG. Okay. Well... I mean, you know, I, I'm just going to do this. Game three? Because it doesn't have evasion and they're tapped out. All right, there we go. Got there. Got there. I got that one. Always happy to say that. Okay, so even though I did not play correctly, we, we managed something, thankfully. Thank goodness. Multiple winners. <laughs> oh, well, it is a casual game. That's fine. That doesn't really matter. Multiple winners. You get to be a winner, and you get to be a winner, and you get to be a winner. All right. Uh, so this hand has an Infect creature, it has double Blossoming Defense, and Become Immense. Lots of mana. Uh, 
You know, oddly enough, despite all this mana, it isn't guaranteed to be able to play Luris. So I, I am going to keep it, but this is a, a little awkward. A little bit. Okay. Ooh. Oh, <sighs> yep. There we go. Mm. All right, we got there. Feeling my back pop. Always good. One thing I like to do just to... It's not really a workout, but it's better than doing nothing, is... If you see me lean back like this, it might be because I'm just pushing up on... Like, I'm holding myself up a little bit with my arms. Stretches my back, works my arms a little bit. Better than nothing. I will accept. Alright. That's a good thing to do first. Although they did it to me, which makes me think they don't have a fetch, and that wasn't what they... Okay. Okay. That'll work. Cool. Please be noble. Okay. Uh, so this is good. This is good. I will look at my top card instead. Decide whether I'd like to fetch. Alright. Mmm, that is my second land, my second black source for L Luris. So I think I'm going to keep that. Although that makes this really land heavy. Really land heavy. It's a little awkward, to be honest. Uh, but it's okay. We'll make it work. Alright. Play this. Pass. Draw from Mishra's Bobble. Just to uh, make sure we're good. Alright. There we go. Huh. Okay. Worker. Worker's fine. Two counters. Alright. End of turn. There we go. Blip. Hello. Hey, there we are. Alright. I don't feel too bad about this game. That is a pretty decent start. <laughs> it really says something about how powerful of an enabler Hardened Scales is. That Arcbound Worker is a, is a good card. For reference sake, there is a card in Modern Horizons that is the same thing, but for snow, and it doesn't have modular. I mean, it's, it's also not... It's a 2-2, two -two, not a 0-0 zero -zero with two plus one plus one counters. Alright, so there we go. This worked out. This worked out pretty well. Uh, let's force them to have it. Because even if they kill this, I have an Ink Moth Nexus. So I can live with that. Uh oh. Though if they have Ballista, we might be in a bit of trouble. A little bit. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Alright. Uh oh, they, did they miss a land drop? It's Ancient Starrings. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh. Uh oh. I didn't actually have it. I didn't have it. I had it. <laughs> Not the next turn, but the turn after. Uh, so yeah, I mean, thanks for the games. Oh. Oh, did they leave? Ah. Uh, you know what? I can't spell. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's, that's not the way you want it to end, unfortunately. Um. Poor person. You what, mate? <laughs> you what, mate? All right. And I'm out of there. That was that was quick, but I mean, I guess that's a two of three <laughs> for you. So 